Cheers. Hey guys, how's it going? Cheers to you. Look at this little tiny cup. You know I had to get it though, because Starbucks had them when I went to get a Starbucks. So technically they're like holiday cups. But it only has like half a serving. So usually when I make coffee in my Keurig, um, I make wondering if I can drink this whole thing and then make another one while I'm talking to you. Or if that's rude. But anyway, it's such a tiny little cup. Like, see? It's only half my face! I think I'm just going to chug it and then I have two bottles of water right here. Which I'm going to get to that in a second. I'll finish, and by the way, like I said, if you like these, they're at Starbucks, I think they're on clearance though. Because when I went through the drive-thru, they had them out front, and they were saying like, cups on clearance. Um, anyway, speaking of water, I actually have two, um, two bottles here on the uh, counter. But one of the things, um, one of the things I knew I needed to get back into, one of the things, I told you one of the lessons that I learned this year was about hydration. Now, we all know. I gotta turn this down, because I know you guys are gonna yell at me. A little loud, even though it's the Spice Girls. Um, so, uh, what was I saying? Oh, water. So everybody knows that hydration is important, right? Sorry. Um, but it's also, I mean, it does a ton of stuff. I, I, I mean, I, I don't think I need to educate anybody on the perks of water, the benefits of water, but you know, it's not just, sometimes it can still be a drag. Let's be real, people. I mean, I don't get excited about water. I like tea, which I, I do want to get into drinking more tea. When we were at the sushi place the other day and they bring out, you know, the, the nice little tea container. Um, I told Michelle, I'm like, I could drink hot tea like this all day. I do want to learn the art of brewing tea at home because people, it's not, sorry, I'm just fixing this. It's not as simple as, um, you know, your typical American is just gonna boil water and, and put it in a cup with a tea bag um, and then you think that that's it, right? But it's that's really not the right way to boil tea, excuse me, not to boil tea, to make tea, to brew tea. Um, and I know that I don't know how to do it and I know that it can taste remarkably different. If you go to a sushi place and you get their green tea, you know, I could drink pasta of that green tea all day. I don't put anything in it. But I've ordered the, my favorite brand in the past was from Sugimoto USA. Um, and even when I ordered that, which is, I found that having, at, having it at a sushi place in Seattle and I, you know, kind of... <laughs> abruptly asked them to let me know what the brand was um, when I would come home and make it it just it wasn't I it didn't have as much flavor I you know I found myself using three bags for one cup and you know blah blah, blah. so there's definitely an art to brewing tea the right way and to being educated there so I want to but when it comes to water Here's the, can you see that? We're down to about right about here. Here's the thing. You guys have seen me. I mean, ever since I, I, I can't talk. Ever since I've been vlogging, people kind of make fun of me. They're, they're, and I didn't even realize I did it. But people would say, "Oh, you always go like this," and you know, whatever. When you drink your water, I like to drink water in order to drink a lot of it room temp. What I do now is because I've realized how how bad I'd gotten this year, later this year on hydration. Remember I told you that, um, you know, I was going out for my runs and I would get halfway and I'd be like cramped, you know, doubled over with cramping and then kind of having to walk and having that horrible feeling in my stomach like I needed to, you know, knock on someone's door and go, can I just die in your restroom? Um, not fun. And I thought, what is wrong with me? What's, it, what's my deal? Um, there was that, and then there were other situations where I was like, um, the whole the whole topic of hydration came up. I certainly, it's it's winter. I'm not in Miami. I'm down in down in Chicago. I'm not down in Miami. I'm in Chicago, and and my skin 
has been getting dry again. Um, skin care, my skin care is something that I've, I've kind of put to the back burner, all because of hopefully a, a theme I might get to before 10 minutes um, is over in this video, which is, you know, yes, you have time for these things. You have to figure out what your plan is, what you're working towards, and then you schedule your day around it. And what I have not done this year, and what has gotten me feeling so overwhelmed and stressed and not taking care of myself, when you don't take care of yourself, you can not only just have health problems, period, you know, getting sick, whatever, you can just feel, you feel like your life is out of control. You feel like you don't have any motivation. And maybe that's surprising to you guys to hear that from me, but you shouldn't because um, I've said this time and time again, when, when you guys write to me, when you say, how do you stay so up and motivated or whatever, I have bad days just like the rest of you. I get down in the dumps and it, it can be for several, several days, several weeks. The difference is, is that I, I choose to figure out how to get out of it. Um, and, and it is, it's always a choice. Happiness is a choice, it's not a feeling. Being motivated is a choice. It's not something that, oh, well, I'm just not, you know, that person that's motivated. No, it's, it doesn't work that way. But, you know, with water, um, in the past when I'm doing really well, like me and my friend Sherry, I've told you guys about this, we'll text each other and say, you know, my goal is to have four bottles of water today or whatever it is. So we'll kind of get into this friendly text banter of, you know, how many bottles are you down already? And then it becomes like this, this little contest where I'm like, oh, really? I'm on my second bottle, you know, so it, that, that awareness, that accountability can help you. But the other thing I do is, and maybe I read this in that whole Betty Rocker thing that I got, which I have a couple of cookbooks here that I'm going to refer to in a second. Um, <clears throat> but she was talking about, you know, first thing in the morning having hot water with lemon and ginger. Now, I still have to go back and look at the whole ginger thing because I did buy the ginger and I wasn't feeling it in the hot water. I'd rather almost just have hot water with lemon. Maybe I was doing it wrong, but anyway, I take these, you know, like a couple bottles of water, whatever I have, and I fill it up. I've told you guys what I do. Like, I'll buy a bottle of water and then I'll keep it at home for a little while. Um, and I'll just keep refilling it and refilling it. I'm not going to keep buying, you know, 1,700 bottles of water. It's water. Um, so I refill it and I put it in my um, bedroom restroom so that when I get up in the morning after I brush my teeth, first thing I start doing is start chugging some water. Now, I'm not somebody that can, you know, I enjoy mornings, I enjoy coffee. So then what I do is I come in here, this is kind of my thing right now, is I start chugging my water, I come in here, I turn my Keurig on, and then before I do my training, my workout, um, whether I'm gonna be going to the gym now or doing it here, or going for a run or whatever, um, I have a, one cup of coffee and that's just my thing. So anyway, water. Make sure you're making time for your water because I still have slightly a stomach ache from yesterday. I felt like I was coming down with a cold yesterday. So I kind of sat on the couch. I took, well, not sat on the couch. I, wait, so, somebody made me really paranoid about lie and lay. Lay is when you lay something down. I, so then the, what's the past tense of lie? I lied down on the couch. I don't think that's the past tense. Because you say, a person lies. You say, I'm gonna go lie down. You lay something down as you're laying an object down, but you don't say, I just laid down. So what's the past tense of lie? I, I don't think it's lied. I lied down. I'm gonna have to look that up. Grammar lesson of the day. Um, anyway, chug your water. Keep water filled up around all day. I am definitely, and we're gonna be doing some of this stuff um, on the Fitfluential site. So, you know, make sure, A, that you're a member, and B, that, um, that was a funny shadow, um, that you're signed up as a member, that you're tuning in um, on fitfluential.com to the blog. We're gonna have a lot more stuff on our blog, a lot more great writers there, um, and then Fitfluential finds too. There will be, you know, stuff like this, like um, we'll have some of our tea partners, you know, educating on, on how to, brew tea effectively at home so it tastes good um, and you'll learn about some great tea companies. Um, I spoke with one 
a couple weeks ago, um, but I don't want to give all of the stuff away. So just stay tuned for that. I am very excited about tea. Tea is one of those ways for me. I don't know about you guys. Um, I don't really consider myself a tea drinker, um, and maybe that's just because, like, if, if I went to Starbucks and ordered, you know, raspberry tea, I, I, I don't get pleasure out of tea like that. My dad has always had tea his whole life, and my mom was coffee, and now what's funny is that since my mom's gone through chemo, she's more of a tea drinker and he's coffee now. Who knew? All that said, I have always enjoyed tea. Like, t for some reason I associate tea with being sick. You only drink tea when you're sick. And so, I don't know, I, maybe that was the association. I love tea that you get when you go to a sushi place. Any kind of green tea like that. So if I can make that and make it at home so it tastes good, I would drink that stuff all day like a boss. So, um, the other thing I am excited about that I'm going to be, and basically, let's let's keep this vlog to the topic of, because I'm already at 11 minutes, I gotta wrap it up, um, new habits. So, new habits are getting back into my water. So this is an old habit, but in a new way. Um, me keeping it in my restroom and starting to chug it first thing in the morning, um, I don't know. I, I just feel like it's kind of getting me, um, it, I never thought it would, be as refreshing as it is, but it is. I start chugging my water first thing in the morning. I have my coffee, um, and then I, ch I, you know, I keep two of these out all day, and I just make sure that I'm, I'm chugging it. Good for your skin. Good for um, hydration, obviously, for keeping me so that when I work out, I'm not doubled over from dehydration. Dehydration is very real, people. Um, and then the other thing is with. Um, and, and hopefully I have a new assistant that's going to be helping me with a lot of these household things as well. But you guys know it's, it's been a problem of mine to have food in the house. And um, my temptation or when I eat bad things, it's usually really not because I'm like, like I did in the past where I would diet so extreme and make things so forbidden and... I felt that I was not in control of myself, and so then when I would go eat something bad, it was kind of this secretive thing, you know, and I would run off to Burger King and I would, you know, get a, a whole meal, and I, I wouldn't want anybody to know that I'd had it, and so, you know, there was, I guess, more like a binge mindset like that. I don't, I don't do that. When I eat something bad, typically it's more because of a lack of preparation. I've told you guys this before. Um, it's typically because I haven't gotten my shit together, let's be real. I don't have stuff in my fridge, so, you know, I come out here when it's time for a meal, you know, and I've got like four things. I, I, I've got protein powder and maybe some frozen fish. So then I end up either not eating or ordering out or running through a drive through and that's where I screw up. One of the things, I don't know if I referenced this before, but the folks at Blendtec uh, were kind enough to send me a Blendtec blender, and I am ridiculously excited about this because I never thought like I remember when I first heard about blenders that were that you know they have a hefty price point but there's a reason these things will last like your life okay and a their ability to do what your typical blender and your typical house household it can do is ridiculous and for those of you that have tried to make like a green smoothie where you're putting kale and spinach and, and for frozen fruits and you're making a, that out of a typical blender that's under $100, um, you know that it's it's not pleasurable. <laughs> what comes out is either really big and chunky or, you know, I mean, every time I did it, every time I would try to make um, a protein shake with my frozen berries or whatever, it was like I'd have to use a fork and a spoon because there were always big chunks. It was never, you know, it never looked like a soup like that. But, and I wasn't even thinking about this when I first got it, but this whole cookbook comes with it. And so you can make salsas. They actually, they actually have a, a, um, a um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like an attachment, it's separate. I think this is for the thicker stuff, but you can make your own homemade nut butters, almond butters, soups. I mean, here's roasted curry cauliflower soup, baked potato soup, gazpacho, um, potato spinach cakes, roasted vegetable mash, I would love that. Um, but you know, soups, salsas, look at that. You can make your own hummus. So I am very, very excited. And one of the other things, of course, that I'm going to make sure I do, I'm at 15 minutes, y'all, um, is not get something like this and not use it. Kind of like that Samsung that I had to figure out what's wrong with it so I can use it. Um, I am for sure gonna be making some of these recipes out of Sarah's cookbook that she sent to me. Um, 
because again, um, and this, oh, one of the things I want to do, I'm getting it on Amazon, is one of these vegetable graters, so that you can take and make zucchini noodles and so on and so forth, and um, vegetable chips, if you will. But you know, I tend to do this. I don't know if you guys are like this. I tend to go, oh, that looks good, and then you know, I might get a cookbook or whatever, and it just sits on the shelf. You have to make a plan for incorporating new stuff into your life. So, and I may have showed you this before, but I got that, all the Betty Rocker stuff right before I went down to Florida. And these are all of her recipes for, um, you know, green, she's got like um, ginger pear green smoothies, baked white fish with pesto, turkey meatballs, you know, just new twists on recipes that can just, um, you know, again, light up your, your fitness eating life. So that said, I'm at 15 minutes. I'm going to shut up. I will be back to shoot more videos later. Um, hopefully you guys are seeing that maybe I'm back on track, back, um, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Um, we're getting heavy sleet and freezing rain today. Exciting.